Ever wondered how you can eliminate inefficiencies in your manufacturing process? Well, lean manufacturing might be your answer. This approach, born in the heart of Japan's automotive industry, focuses on maximizing productivity by minimizing waste. It's a philosophy that champions efficiency, streamlining operations to deliver more with less. The real magic of lean manufacturing lies in its relentless pursuit of waste reduction. And what are these wastes? They are eight in total, each one a potential roadblock to smooth operations. Let's delve into the eight wastes, the core elements that lean manufacturing seeks to eliminate. First on our list is defects. These are errors or mistakes that require correction or rework. Picture faulty parts coming off the assembly line or a product assembled incorrectly. These mishaps can be costly, leading to rework, scrap, and even customer dissatisfaction. Imagine the impact on your bottom line, not to mention the potential damage to your brand's reputation. The key to reducing defects is implementing quality control measures and continuous improvement efforts. Remember, perfection may be unattainable, but improvement is always within reach. Next, we have overprocessing, which is doing more than necessary to a product. Picture this, using a sledgehammer to crack a nut, or a high-end precision laser cutter to slice bread. These are classic examples of overprocessing. It's like gilding the lily, adding unnecessary bells and whistles that only inflate costs without adding value. The key to avoiding this? Understand exactly what your customer needs, then align your process to meet those needs. Nothing more, nothing less. Avoid overprocessing by clearly defining your customer requirements and aligning your process accordingly. Thirdly, overproduction is producing more than the customer needs or before they need it. It's like baking a dozen pies for a party of five. You're left with excess inventory resulting in increased storage costs. More so, these products risk becoming obsolete before they're even used. It's a waste of resources, time, and capital. To combat overproduction, implement a just-in-time production system that produces based on demand. It's like baking those pies fresh and hot, right when your guests are ready for dessert. Fourth, wasted motion refers to any movement of people or machines that doesn't add value to the product. Imagine a manufacturing floor where machines and workers are scattered haphazardly, causing unnecessary travel and inefficient use of energy. Perhaps a worker has to walk several steps to fetch a tool, or a machine is idle because materials are not readily available. These are examples of wasted motion. Minimize wasted motion by optimizing your workspace layout and workflow. Fifth, waiting. This is any downtime where people or machines are waiting for another process step. Imagine a factory where machines are paused due to maintenance, or workers are idle waiting for materials to arrive. This isn't just a waste of time, it's a waste of potential. Imagine what could be accomplished if that downtime was transformed into productive time. The solution? Synchronize your work steps and ensure your equipment is reliable. Reduce waiting times by synchronizing your work steps and maintaining reliable equipment. Sixth, transportation. This refers to unnecessary movement of materials. Imagine carting items back and forth across a sprawling factory floor or shuttling goods between distant locations. This isn't just time consuming, it's a missed opportunity for efficiency. Consider the energy, cost, and time spent on these trips that could have been saved. However, there's good news. You can reduce transportation waste by optimizing your layout and consolidating operations where possible. It's about working smarter, not harder, and making every move count. A seventh, excessive inventory. This is when you have more materials on hand than needed. The costs can quickly pile up. You're not just paying for the materials, but also the storage space. There's also the risk of materials becoming obsolete or spoiled, further denting your profits. And let's not forget the capital that's tied up, capital that could be better invested elsewhere. The solution? Just-in-time inventory management. It's a strategy that ensures you have what you need when you need it. Avoid excessive inventory by implementing just-in-time inventory management. Finally, wasted potential. This is the underutilization of employees' skills and knowledge. Imagine the wealth of ideas that go untapped when workers are not involved in problem-solving or improvement initiatives. Consider the skills that remain unpolished when opportunities for development are scarce. This is like having a gold mine and choosing to dig for coal. Harness your employees' full potential by encouraging participation and providing opportunities for skill development. So there you have it, the eight wastes that lean manufacturing aims to eliminate. We've delved into the pitfalls of defects, overprocessing, and overproduction. 
we've understood the drawbacks of wasted motion and waiting periods, and the inefficiencies in transportation and excessive inventory. We've also highlighted the tragedy of wasted potential. Each of these can be tackled with the right strategies and a commitment to continuous improvement. Remember, the goal of lean manufacturing is continuous improvement and elimination of waste, paving the way for efficiency and productivity.